Master Spoken English Feeling Phonics is a multi-level, multi-purpose, fluency building program. Whatever level you are at now, it will increase your clarity, expressiveness, and fluency at both speaking and reading. It uses a color-coded phonics system and a triple repetition pattern in three stages of vocal energy. It is based on a system used to train speech to professional actors. Here we are going to look at an outline of the demo course followed by some very short video samples. The entire program has 13 hours of video training material. Only 5% of that is methodology or instructional. It is 95% interactive training and practice material, which is what you really need to get results. This course includes the speech dynamics structure. An introduction to tonal action, preparation and warm-ups for feeling vibration and tone. Tonal Y initial, the vibrating Y at the beginning of Y words. Plus Y buzz is the long A sound, A. Structural vowels are another important foundation for speech. They have a structure and shape that create a voice box. Getting loud and clear is another way of saying this. The vowels ah, uh, oo, and the two-stage vowel ow each have a more practice section with more word lists and sentences using those words, as always done in three stages of vocal energy. Structural vowels sentences is where all these structural vowels are combined in sentence practice. Tonal and structural vowels are always color-coded in yellow. Introduction to neutral vowels has techniques for keeping short neutral vowels playing the surrounding consonants. Neutral three, e, eh, as in lend. Neutral three, e, eh, used in sentences. And minimal pairs, as in bait, bet. Introduction to consonants in voiced and unvoiced pairs. Green color-coded consonants are sustainable or legato. Red consonants are plosive or staccato. More practice material has more word lists and sentences using those words, as always done in three stages of vocal energy. V, B, minimal pairs. V, F, minimal pairs for clearly distinguishing between these similar sounds. Behind the scenes are the bloopers. Funny mistakes do happen in speech. Connected speech is the topic we move into now. Chiefly linking and phrasing, which is the key to fluent English. Direct linking is linking final consonants directly into vowels. Direct linking verbal phrases provides practice using linking in common verbal phrases. Direct linking idiomatic phrases uses specialized expressions. And common word endings or suffixes like A-T-E. Introduction to intonation using pitch to make the important words stand out. Intonation patterns that make your speech more expressive and understandable. Intonation practice scenes. Consonant clusters or blends. Linked phrases, employing that same group of blends so you can practice linking and consonant clusters in the same exercise. A movie practice scene where it all comes together. Vowels, consonants, linking and phrasing, intonation and intention. Now for some short samples. The vowels that have a shape or structure that you can see and feel. In this system, they are assigned a number corresponding to the size of their lip shape.
So, let's begin by developing strong vibration in our E's, our A's, and our Y's. E Call this stage three. Father. Father. Arm. Arm. Car. Car. Bar. Bar. Barn. Barn. Com. Com. Palm. Palm. Star. Star. Yard. Yard. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Very good. Stage one. Watch. Drama. Number one. Ooh. Ooh. The full stretch with the smallest lip opening is called number one. Ooh. Stage two. Food. Root. Boost. Stage two. Those five dollar blue jeans don't go at all badly with the flower shirt you found at the laundromat. It was a fumble. It was a fumble. Fumble? Fumble. Observe how when you shorten this little vowel, the consonants on either side of it become more important. That is, you play consonant to consonant. Nine consonants have cognates. That is, they have a voiced or unvoiced counterpart. Those in the left column are voiced, made with vocal cord vibration. Those in the right column are unvoiced, made without vocal cord vibration. Now, sustain the N in these words. Rain on lemon oven Now, sustain the V in these words. Five of Seven, sleeve, very. Don't be tentative. Give him a shove. Ba, ba. Now, tap the drum beat ba, in these words. Baby. Bat, bat. Bat, bat. Bail, bail. Bail, bail. Red. Refrigerator. Raining. That's more. <laughs> nice trying to refrigerator. <laughs> Clean up everything. 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 That's linking. Absorbed in. Absorbed in. Act up. Act up. Add up. Add up. Ahead of. Ahead of the game. This word ending means to cause or to make. Advocate. That's the verb. Advocate. That's the noun. Integrate. The pitch change we're concerned with is a jump up in pitch to a higher note on the important words. Now, here's the American pitch pattern. Jump up 
in pitch on the important word and step down on the words following. I like to walk to the office. Yesterday it was very rainy and windy. Quite. Queens. Quickly, quiet, quoting, quite, queens. At Christmas, classes are over and our group is glad to assemble quickly. At Christmas, classes are, classes are, are rover, are rover. At Christmas, classes are rover. Someone who needs us, someone who needs us, someone who needs us as, needs us as, needs us as much as, much as, much as, we need him, need him, need him. Someone who needs us as much as we need him. Hi, welcome to the real world. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the real world? Well, as real as it gets in Southern California. <laughs> this is Connie Howard, our dialectician, mm -hmm. and Randy Talai, our phonics specialist. And this is Jean Zerna, voice and speech specialist, and the director of A-Team, accent modification specialist team in Los Angeles, California. And this is as real as it gets. Real American English, the way Americans really speak it. Only better. Yes, only better. The way better spoken Americans speak, clearly articulated, fully expressed, and without an accent. You're going to learn to feel your speech, to experience sound as a vibration, and to develop a sense memory of these American sounds. Only better still. Only better still. At the same time that you're learning to feel these American sounds perfectly, you'll be discovering vocal energy. The speech principles that you learn here will become your foundation for feeling sounds. They're the same techniques used by professional speakers, news broadcasters, and actors. Like them, you will be able to develop your vocal instrument. Now, here's where we come to a most unique feature of this course. The Diagnostic Evaluation Kit. In it, you'll find a blank audio cassette tape. On that tape, you record your speech sample according to the directions provided there. Mail it back to us in the pre-addressed envelope. A qualified dialectician will analyze your speech and return it to you. Your personal diagnostic evaluation. It'll look something like this. And it'll chart the areas of this course you need to give special focus to. Now, does this look sufficiently incomprehensible? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, don't worry, because it's accompanied by my own personal directions to you on another audio cassette. I'll explain it all to you. I'll do this personally, or if I'm unavailable, another highly skilled specialist that I've selected will do it for me. Of course, you'll do fine even without a diagnosis, but this cassette exchange between us allows me to create a personal training program for you. It offers a more precisely individual approach. Now, why is it that speech coaches are always being so precise? <laughs> I don't know. We, I guess we just always want to get everything perfect. Which brings us to an even further refinement. The only way to make still more effective use of this course would be to arrange private coaching at our studios in Los Angeles or private seminars conducted at your own location. Well, at the very beginning of tape two, you'll find the information on how to contact us about that. All right. I'm almost finished with the explanations. <laughs> this course is mostly practice, after all. But before we begin, let me give you the same frank advice I give all my clients. Two things. First, give yourself completely to the exercises. Remember, we're going to train you with the same techniques used by professional actors. As long as you master the basic techniques of each section, you'll be able to produce results as American sounding as in the practice scenes. Now, some of the later scenes are challenging but you need that. And if you ever feel that things are moving too fast, just grab what you can. You don't have to grasp all the content, all the practice, all at once, or in any order. And you will not perfect all your technique at once either. Which brings me to my second thing. You must practice and repeat and repeat and repeat. 
When you review the course, you can jump around anywhere. Speech is organic, so you can approach it in many ways. Now, you can work at your own pace, but keep working. We're going to begin by doing some very simple relaxation and breathing exercises. And Connie's going to be our guinea pig. So getting down on the floor, flat on your back, arms at your sides. I want you to think of your body in logical muscle groups, all right? This exercise we'll call muscle spreading. So like here's a muscle group, from here to here, here to here. Here to here, here to here is a group, here's a group, here's a group, here's a group, and here's a group. So within each group of muscles, think of those muscles as spreading out now. They're just spreading out. Let's check under here in the small of the back. And if there's a little space there, a little arch, then kind of press the small of your back against the floor real easily. You don't have to really think about holding it there, but think of what that small of your back feels like against the floor there, right? Because then your spine is in perfect alignment. And take nice, deep, easy breaths. Breathe in through the nose and through the mouth. I know your mother told you to breathe in through the nose, but <laughs> we want to breathe in through the nose and the mouth, get in more air that way. Nice, deep, easy breaths. All right. Muscle groups spreading out. You know how they say the universe is always expanding? Think of your body as the universe now, right? And all the atoms are expanding. Nice, deep, easy breaths. And if we've got any tension anywhere, let it go. Send a little messenger around. Is there any tension anywhere? Let it go. No. Let's see. The spine is real straight, and the back of the neck is nice and long. Good. Nice, deep, easy breaths. Muscles spreading out, the universe expanding. Okay, slowly, in your own time, come up and stand. And let's get that kind, come over here. Let's get that same nice straight alignment. Well, the same kind of alignment we had on the floor. Think like there's a string coming out of the top of your head, right? That's going straight through your spine. Nice, deep, easy breaths. All right, now, let's take a couple steps back and very slowly go down through the spine bending over. Let the arms fall ahead of you and let the neck fall loose too. Let the head fall over. That's it. Everything's nice and loose. Unlock the knees. Get a little more space between the, yeah, between your feet so you've got a good base. Now, just like when you were lying on the floor, when you're in this position, you cannot breathe incorrectly. Hmm? It's all taken care of. Nice, deep, easy breaths and coming up slowly through the spine. Very slowly, keep the head hanging over. Feel the sides expanding. Hmm? Feel the sides, the stomach walls expanding and the sides expanding, filling up with air. We call this filling up the bucket, filling it from the bottom to the top. Coming up, feeling this getting wider, the back getting wider, broad spaces between the shoulder, Of filling up the whole back with air and finally bringing the head up nice deep easy breaths feel more refreshed good
Four natural ways to relax. Yawning. Oh. I notice you take in a big breath when you do that. Oh. 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 Put sound with it, too. Oh. Oh. We see animals do these kind of things all the time. Stretching. Mm. <sighs> stretching the fingers out, too. Stretching over to one side, stretching over to the other side. Stretch the fingers out, too. Get those fingers stretching. And keep yawning, too. Do a little more yawning. Oh. Uh, yawning is really like a stretch. Oh. Oh. Shaking, that's another thing you see animals do. Shake one arm. You've seen animals do this, haven't right. you? Yeah. Dogs and cats do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You sure the wrist is loose? You're shaking the other arm. Both of them. Shaking one leg. Right? Get that ankle loose, too, so the foot's shaking just there. And the other leg. Sometimes one ankle is loose on the other one. Uh-huh. <sighs> Yawning, stretching, shaking, one more thing, swallowing. I know that's one we usually don't think about, but try going without swallowing for a while. It's like going without breathing for a while. <laughs> You never think about it, but it soothes and relaxes the throat, it lubricates the throat. American English has one characteristic very different from most other languages. Increased tonality. There is more vocal cord vibration involved in forming both the vowels and the consonants. So, let's begin by developing strong vibration in our E's, our A's, and our Y's. E. Yes. E. Exercise one, the Y buzz siren. The Y buzz is the sensation of the E sound as a buzz or vibration on the gum ridge. Right here on the gum ridge, right above the front teeth, you feel a little buzz of the E, E there. Concentrate on feeling the vibration of a pure E sound on the roof of the mouth just above the front teeth on the gum ridge. E, 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 E. You should be able to feel vibration in the teeth as well as on the gum ridge. E, 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 E. And let your lips pout forward a little bit. E, e, like that. That helps focus the sound waves right onto the gum ridge. E, very good. Now, siren up in pitch. E, e, siren up and siren down. E, 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 siren down. E, up again. E, e. When you 
you siren up, you'll feel the vibration move from the gum ridge up to a little bit higher, but a little bit higher up on the roof of the mouth. As you siren down, you'll feel the vibration moving back down onto the gum ridge, just above the teeth. And you may feel the teeth themselves vibrating a little. Eee, 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 eee. So do that little pout. Eee, eee. The Y buzz lift position and siren up. Eee, eee. Now let's do it more gradually, a slow siren up. Then we'll take a breath and siren down. Eee, eee. And go back down into that little lip position, that little pout when you get in the low pitch. Once again. Eee, eee. You feel that little arc of vibration going back on the roof of the mouth and then coming back down again. It makes a little arc there. Once again. Eee, eee. list for the Y initial position. Hold each of these Y sounds for at least three seconds. Three seconds. Now that's longer than you think it is. E yellow. Repeat those words, hold, or a better word is sustain the Y for one second. E yellow. E U. E yard. E yell. E yield. E yes. E now repeat that list again, sustaining the Y just long enough to feel the vibration. Yellow, U, yard, yell, yield, yes, use. Good. The Y list, final position. Now these are strong, but short in the final position. So the first time through, sustain the Y for one second. Happy, angry, hungry, thirsty, city, ready. Repeat, sustaining the Y just long enough to feel the vibration. Happy, angry, hungry, thirsty, city, Ready, short but strong. The Y sentences. First time through, hold the Y for one second. I'm hungry and thirsty and I'm not happy. I'm ready to yield to this city. Yes, I yelled across the yard. I'm angry that you used my yellow car. Repeat, sustaining the Y just long enough to feel the vibration. I'm hungry and thirsty, but I'm not happy. 
I'm ready to yield to this city. Yes, I yelled across the yard. I'm angry that you use my yellow car. The slower drills get you in the habit of feeling these sounds. The faster drills carry over this feeling into your conversational speech. Sustain the E for at least three seconds, which is longer than you think it is. E, she, we, sweethearts, t-shirt, sleeves, jeans, reading, Argentina, trees, green, feet, sleep, meat, cheese. Repeat, sustaining the E for one second. He, she, we, sweethearts, t-shirt, sleeves, jeans, reading, Argentina, trees, green, feet, sleep, meat, cheese. <sighs> Yawn, take a breath, <sighs> relax, repeat the list again, sustaining the E just long enough to feel the vibration. E, she, we, sweetheart, t-shirt, sleeves, jeans, reading, Argentina, trees, green, feet, sleep, meat, cheese. The E sentences. Sustain the E for three seconds. We sweethearts are reading about Argentina. The second time through, the same sentence. Sustain the E for one second. We sweethearts are reading about Argentina. And now just long enough to feel the vibration. We sweethearts are reading about Argentina. The next sentence. Stage one for three seconds. He wore jeans and a t-shirt with short sleeves. Stage two, sustain the E for one second. He wore jeans and a t-shirt with short sleeves. Stage three, sustain the E just long enough to feel vibration. E wore jeans and a t-shirt with short sleeves. Tonal action both uses and creates energy, but without effort. Let's take a few seconds now to stretch again. Oh. Right, the whole body stretch forward. Stage one, lying under a green tree, eating meat and cheese, his feet fell asleep. Stage two, lying under a green tree, 
eating meat and cheese, his feet fell asleep. Stage three. Lying under a green tree, eating meat and cheese, his feet fell asleep. <laughs> plus Y buzz. This is a variation of the Y buzz. It's a diphthong, that is, two sounds blended into one. It's E plus E. A. A. Emphasize the second sound, which is the Y buzz. A. 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 mostly the E sound. That's right. Now try warming up on this. The A lift. Sustain the A for at least three seconds. They name David bathing suit. Sustaining the A for one second. They name David bathing suit, cake, baby, plate, grapes, table, gray. Stage three, sustaining the A just long enough to feel the vibration. Name, David, bathing suit, cake, baby, plate, grapes, table, gray. The A sentences. Sustain the A for three seconds. Stage one. The baby in the gray. Bathing suit is named David. Stage two, one second. The baby in the gray bathing suit is named David. Stage three. The baby in the gray bathing suit is named David. Stage one. They laid the table with plates of cake and grapes. Stage two. They laid the table with plates of cake and grapes. Stage three. They laid the table with plates of cake and grapes. The Y buzz and the plus Y are excellent for warming up your voice anytime. 
They act as anchors for the tonality of all your speech, and they protect against strain and throatiness. They also place your voice in a lower register for a deeper, darker, richer, sexier sound. And yes, women sound more sexy with a lower pitched voice, the same as men. <laughs> Cheers. So long for now. Hi, welcome to the real world. Hello, hi. Welcome to the real world? Well, as... <laughs> My own personal directions to you on another audio cassette. I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it to those dogs, too. <laughs> I'll go explain something to that dog really soon. This is so